welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. I'm Jim Fuller. In tonight's news, Rush Bricken is trying to help fund Coffee County's 9-11 system. THS band members received a virtual banquet and the Manchester Parks and Recreation Department are reopening most of their properties. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Hello, I'm Ray Nois. This is a critical time in Tullahoma. On August the 6th, voters will have an opportunity to elect a new mayor, one who can provide proven, experienced leadership, one who knows how to get things done and keep Tullahoma moving. I recognize the value of Tullahoma's excellent school system. Our system is recognized as one of the best in the state and I'll ensure that our schools continue at that level. I will not vote to raise property taxes in order to have a balanced budget until all other options have been exhausted. I'll work closely with our city staff to ensure that my physically conservative values are incorporated. Now, I've served on all city boards involved in economic development. Now, I see that as a way that we can broaden our tax base and avoid a property tax rate increase. Some developers have had issues with our planning and codes department. I'll commit to these improvements. There'll be consistency in the instructions from planning and codes without changes from day to day. And there'll be predictable timelines for providing delivery dates for plan reviews, permits, and inspections. Timelines that will be met reliably. Now while we can't do much about the traffic on 41A and 55, we can improve our local streets and sidewalks. And this I commit to do. So I ask for your vote for proven, experienced leadership. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. State Representative Rush Bricken spoke to the Coffee County Commission on his proposed bill in Nashville about funding of the 9-11 facilities during their recent meeting. House Bill 2520 will change the way Coffee County 9-11 covers payroll. Currently, Coffee County taxpayers pay for the salaries of employees working at the center, but if the new legislation is approved, the communication center's payroll will be covered by the 9-11 fees charged to every citizen and business for their landlines and cell phones. Bricken said, quote, currently every Tennessean is paying a dollar and 17 cents per month for each phone number they have, landline or cell phone, and recent legislation increased this charge to a dollar 50 per month, a 28 percent increase effective January 1st of next year. The service cost of your phone should bear the payroll cost. Currently, if there's a shortfall by Coffee County Commission, uh, Communication Center, they have to come to the county commission, and the only way the commission can fund that is through property taxes, end quote. Bricken believes that the new bill will save taxpayers in Coffee County and many other counties in the state hundreds of thousands of dollars. The legislation will ensure the 9-11 districts throughout the state are operated and funded in a consistent manner. He added Coffee County's 9-11 districts receive about $3.6 million, and it has, or rather has reserves of $3.6 million, and it has a new facility with modern equipment, which Bricken believes is excessive. Coffee County taxpayers pay about $750,000 for payroll at the Coffee County Communication Center, and Bricken argues the fund balance that the center has should be sufficient to cover payroll. Anyone with health concerns or, or concerns about the health of family members is invited to receive free testing for COVID-19 at the uh, county's health departments. This testing will be provided at no cost to participants and those who come for testing can remain in their vehicles throughout the process. Testing will be conducted by the Manchester Coffee County Health Department at 800 Park Street in Manchester Monday through Fridays from 2 to 4 p.m. 
It's Mental Health Awareness Month, and this year we find ourselves amid a global crisis as we adjust to this new normal and navigate the challenges of uncertainty and anxiety. Talkspace is a group that is committed to continuing the conversation about mental health. Their motto is, talking about feelings helps. So, the state of my mental health is shaky. There's a lot of up and downs. Ever changing. I know that's kind of a cop out of an answer. I'm struggling to stay focused and be productive while working from home. Been losing track of time, I don't know what day it is. Everything is changing so rapidly that some days I'm really motivated. And I can compartmentalize very well. And in others, I feel like I am failing at everything. If you ask me that question on a different day, a different time, you might get another answer. Things have been pretty stressful all around and we've had to adjust to a lot of change. My anxiety is just coming from not knowing what the next phase looks like. Not having any control over so many things has been an incredible challenge. This is such an uncertain time. There's no rule book of how we're supposed to feel. There are going to be days where I can't always be on. I have been trying to take more steps to keep that feeling at bay. I'll eat some candy or ice cream to make me feel better. Choosing to laugh instead of cry has helped me. Everything eventually comes to an end. We've going through tragedies before in our life and we've pulled through. Whatever your part is, do it and do it well. And being genuinely reassured by how many other people are feeling the same. So from my home and to yours, I am sending you lots of love and light and support. It's how we build strength and, and how we build community. I, I took up a new sport and um, it's, been, it's been fairly successful. I'll show you. Getting good at it, aren't I? And the Tennessee Statewide Crisis Line phone number is 855-274-7471. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment with more news later. It's not Invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. Let me tell you about the toughest guy on earth. He does the work of two jobs, but only gets paid for one. He's tough enough to feed the man who gave him a lifetime of nourishment. <laughs> He has the crazy strength to lift the man that raised him up without even flinching. That's right. No employee of the month bonus check here. This guy, no, this warrior, will always be by his father's side, even if his dad will hardly remember. Good luck finding a gym to train for that. If this guy isn't the toughest guy on the planet, then I don't know who is. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Welcome back. Tullahoma City Schools Nutrition Department will begin their summer meals program on Monday, June 1st. All children 18 years old and under are welcome and all meals are free. Meal pickup is on Monday and Wednesday. There will be a three-day meal pack distributed on Monday and a four-day meal pack distributed on Wednesdays. drive through locations are East Lincoln Elementary, East Middle School, West Middle School, and Tullahoma High School from 11 a.m. until noon. The Nutrition Department's food truck is scheduled the schedule is 10 a.m. Tullahoma Village, 1020 Southgate, 1040 Whispering Oaks, 1115 Lanham Library, 
1130 Cedar Lane Village, 1210 Highland Court, 1230 Ada Farrell, 1245 Briarwood Apartments, 105 Eastgate Apartments, and 130 at Dossett Homes. For more information, viewers can contact the Director of Nutrition, Ms. Angela Cart Cardwell, at 454-2604. Tulloma High School Band Director Justin Scott held a virtual band banquet for students this week. Let's watch. Tonight is a celebration of our year together, a chance to reflect on the longtime friends who will be leaving us soon, and the great experiences we've had together in this year's band. This year, we waltzed with the dead during Dance Macabre, our halftime production. We took Neyland Stadium by storm, performing side by side with the pride of the Southland, continued the tradition of our marchathon and received the ASBDA Award of Distinction at the MTSBOA Concert Performance Assessment. Tullahoma Band students once again were awarded an impressive number of seats in Mid-State Ensembles, nine of which qualified for all-state status and three attended the Tennessee Governor's School for the Arts. It's definitely been an incredible year and tonight we look forward to, to looking back, honoring our seniors, laughing, crying, and continue the great traditions of the Tullahoma Band, at a distance of course. Our design staff Guard instructors Matthew Bidding, music arranger and composer Atticus Hensley, drill writer Debbie Burton, and percussion instructor and writer Tommy Sam are some of the most gifted and creative people we could possibly work with. We are so grateful that they share their amazing talents with our students. A statement about our parents, how great they are and how hard they work, has become a standard component of this speech. That's because it is the least we can do. We could not function without our booster club and all of our parent volunteers. We greatly appreciate those parents who serve as chaperones, feed and water us, drive the buses and trucks, fix the flags and uniforms, provide us medical assistance, work in the uniform room, build props, and at least a thousand other behind the scenes jobs. There are many more people that we could only begin to thank here. So to all of you, we give you our most heartfelt thanks. Now we'd like to take a moment to say a few words about our outgoing booster president, Chrissy Anderson. A parent with our band program for over eight years, she has de dedicated her time, effort, and energy to the students and parents of the Tullahoma Band family. We'd like to present you with this small token of appreciation. Thank you, Chrissy, for all of your hard work. Now, let's recognize those students whose service has been so important to the successful operation of our program this year. Next, we'll present our service awards. More than anyone else, the band captain sets the tone for the entire group by providing the gateway to leadership. Douglas Tilly has taken on this challenge with respect, determination, compassion, and a constant smile. His positive attitude, amazing musicianship, and work ethic have made this year exceptional. Douglas, thank you for serving as an amazing band captain. Our field commanders this year were Mary Grace Grady, Aubrey Sharon, and Lauren Daw. Our logistics coordinator was Mr. Dalton Parkerson. He, if he were here, he would fix that. He would. Our uniform officers. Courtney Sharon, and Gracie King. Our high brass officer, Mr. John Newton. Our low brass officer, Mr. Spencer Yoder. Our woodwind officers, Eli Askren and Whitney Roberts. And last but not least, we'd like to present a Color Guard Leadership Award to Abigail Eldridge and Olivia Bean. We'd like to thank all of these wonderful leadership team members for their hard work this year on making this such, a, such a successful year. Coming up next, we'd like to present our Recognition of Achievement Award. Now we would like to recognize the students who earned two of our state's highest rankings as musicians, membership in all state ensembles, and attendance at the Tennessee Governor's School for the Arts. This year's members of All State Band were Jacob Howell, Isaac Swinney, Rex Askren, Madeline Bell, Charlie Pettyjohn, Braden Powers, 
and Douglas Tilly. Members of our All-State Orchestra were Abigail English and Whitney Roberts. Our participants in the 2019 Tennessee Governor's School for the Arts were Taylor Anderson, Dalton Parkerson, and Whitney Roberts. Each spring, the band members vote for the member of each class that in some way impressed them the most. This year's recipients of the most outstanding award are... For the freshman class, Chloe Fuller. For the sophomore class, Cameron Alexander. For the junior class, John Newton. And for the senior class, Douglas Tilly. Congratulations to all of you students and your amazing achievements. Next, we'll present awards to our class of 20. Our first senior award is the THS Departmental Award. Each department at THS presents a departmental award to a senior who has consistently displayed the standards of excellence set forth by that department. This year's recipients have been members of our symphonic band, regional and state level clinic bands, and were always ready to perform with school and community small ensembles. They are both consummate musicians and embody the spirit of the Tullahoma Band. These individuals are Whitney Roberts and Jacob Howell. Next is the John Philip Sousa Award. This is given to the senior whose dedication to music equals that of the award's namesake. The award reads, In recognition of outstanding achievement and interest in instrumental music, for singular merit and loyalty and cooperation, and for displaying those high qualities of conduct that school instrumental music requires. This year's recipient of the John Philip Sousa Award is Dalton Parkerson. Congratulations. The Director Award is presented to graduating seniors who display exceptional dedication to their school band through effort far above, that which is asked or expected. Through their work and dedication, these seniors improved our organization and served as a positive influence to other band members. These students are Will Arnett, Aaron Champion, Erica Gabbard, Carla Garcia, Sarah Glutch, Mary Grace Grady, Ashley Jones, Joe Pope, Courtney Sharon, and last but not least, Madison Wiley. Seniors, speaking for myself, Ms. Burden, Mr. Hensley, Mr. Clark, and the entire band staff, I want to again say what a privilege it has been to have known you and made music with you for the past seven years. While we know the year did not end the way you would have hoped, you still have made many memories during your band career and left an impression that will last forever. So many outstanding musicians and leaders, so many unique and unforgettable characters, every day has truly been an adventure with you. You have left your mark on this organization and we want you to remember that wherever the road may lead you, you will always be welcome here and you will always be a part of the Tullahoma Band family. We love you. More news is coming up in a moment. I'm Philip Bourne, standing now Detail Shop Manager. Here are a few things our customers have to say about our service. What I love most about the Stan McNabb Detail Shop is there's someone local that I can trust to pick up my car, have it cleaned, and deliver it back to me in showroom condition. What really amazed me is when he opened the hood and looked like he had taken the old engine out and put a new engine inside. We have several different packages and individual services to get your vehicle looking like new again. We're located just behind Stan McNabb Chevrolet dealership. Call today, schedule an appointment, and see what a difference our detail can make. 
All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. Jerry Fox recently spoke with Peggy Burton about South Jackson Goes Country Editions and music. Thank you, Peggy. Jerry did our band last year for South Jackson Goes Country, and in a little while we're going to talk about that, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your personal songwriting. Where do you find your uh, music coming from? Well, it's just, uh, I guess, a combination of everything I've heard since I was three or four years old you know uh, my dad was uh sang in a gospel quartet uh, he loved bluegrass my mom was classically trained cellist oh wow and, and her her I mom played cello. keyboard they, uh, that how their household was full of classical music so you would think those two might clash in a marriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my parents were both uh, uh, accommodating to each other's taste. So you're sort of a blend of it all. Yeah, so I, I heard all of that. And um, uh, my mom, uh, she had to give up cello by the time she she had three kids, okay? That's hard Me, to Me, my keep two your brothers, <laughs> two brothers were nine months apart. She had her hands full, two of them in diapers, me around four or five years old cello went to the closet yeah and then when I was uh, t nine ten I discovered it and I you know she let me take it out because she just didn't play anymore and for a little guy that was the size of a string bass exactly so, <laughs> and so there you were with the cello so playing I, bass <laughs> I started playing bass and that, that's what I am I now that. a bass player and I, I Kind of well, just a minute about uh, the South Jackson band that we're going to have sure. for the country show, and our auditions are on the 7th and 8th. Just call up the Civic Center or go online and figure out what to do. It, uh, everybody probably knows how to do that, so we're looking forward to having as many people as possible. Well, let's talk about the band. You have a knack for finding the most fabulous people. Thank you. And obviously you played with them, mm -hmm. hither and yon, so we're having some of the same people back, and who are they? Well, I, uh, I was uh, blessed that uh, you and I guess the, the committee of the people that put the show together asked me last year to put a band together. Uh, and I, the year before I played bass right. with, with uh, a, a different group of people. But uh, when I was asked, I said, okay, I, I just want to get the best people I can. And a good friend of mine, Michael Young, uh, is a drummer. He's he lives, fabulous. He lives yeah. in Shelbyville. Michael and I, we play in a band called Vinyl Deluxe, and uh, we, we just kind of gravitate to each other because he's a groove player, I'm a groove player, and when you get that combination it between works. the drums and the bass, well, it just pulls everything together. Uh, he's agreed to do it again this year, uh, and he's played with everybody, uh, Gary Morris, Poco, uh, Oh gosh, a lot of recordings. There's no credits. doubt. I've never heard him miss a beat. I mean, yeah. The man is on the beat. And we're fortunate to get uh, Bill Hullett back oh, wow. as the uh, first guitar. guitar player. Uh, Bill's another old Nashville pro. Uh, records, uh, Martina McBride, Merle Haggard, Willie Nelson, no Tammy Wynette, they just go on and yeah, on. He is fabulous. And Bill's just one of these laid back, just easy going, ne never breaks a sweat. <laughs> it depends on what, didn't matter what the situation <laughs> he, is. He is so, on top of it. Uh, I love playing with Bill. And this year we have uh, a, another guitar player, the, the uh, guitar player, the second guitar player we had last year lives way out in Fairview and it was really a no trek for him to come down. Trip. So uh, uh, Steve McComb is uh, a, a guy that plays in Vinyl Deluxe. Uh, okay. I've worked with Steve and Bill together in the studio, and uh, he really, he and Bill just, they mesh. They've got that connection where they just automatically know how to complement each other. I was so other. tremendously impressed with how, how you worked with all the uh, singers and you never once got upset. If you did, you kept it inside your head. You, it's such a good leader, and I appreciate that. More news is coming up in a moment. Here at Stan McNabb Collision Center, we work with all major insurance companies, and we get the job done right the first time, on time. 
Well, I grew up in Tullahoma. We'd always done business with Sam McNabb, so when we needed collision service after a run-in with a deer, we knew to call those guys. We already had trust with them. We called Cody. He took great care of us. He kept us posted every step of the way, and we couldn't have been more pleased. Getting your vehicle back to pre-loss condition shouldn't be a headache. So in the event of an accident, contact me, Cody Hall, at Stan McNabb Collision Center. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Welcome back. The Manchester Parks and Recreation Department continues to slowly open more aspects of the center as it emerges from the COVID-19 pandemic. Beginning on Monday, June the 1st, the casual care nursery will open again and with some modifications. There will be a two-hour daily limit and no more than 10 children will be allowed in the youth wellness room at a time. There will also be a non-contact thermometer for temperature checks prior to entering the building. Only children with a family membership pass will be able to use the nursery and wellness room. Also, the center's racquetball courts open on Wednesday and are available by reservation for members only. The State Park at Fred Ded Dedman Park also reopened on Wednesday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The department encourages social distancing in the park. For more information, call 728-0273. Stay with us. Your weather forecast is coming up next. You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift, quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1962 at 94 degrees. The record low was in 1961 at 37 degrees. Average high on this day is 80 and the average low is 58. Chance of rain continues in the forecast for tonight with a low of 61. Scattered storms expecting it on Friday with a high of 75 and a low of 56. Mostly sunny weather expected on Saturday with a high of 76 and a low of 51. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. Yeah.